Hello everybody, welcome to this new lesson. In this lesson, we'll know how to create a loading page with uh, HTML and CSS. The code will be linked in the description as usual. So if you haven't subscribed yet, you could subscribe now and you could like the video if you like it. So let's go to the coding and see what we have. First, I will create an empty HTML file. I will see new and HTML. I'll call it loading 18. Okay, then over here I'll create two devs. The first dev I will give it a class center, which will control the center of this uh, content. The second dev I'll give it class loading. Loading, great. Now I will create another empty uh, another empty file, which would be style sheet. I'll call it style, and let's link those files together. I'll come here. And I'll say link, link, and over here I will say href is style, uh, style. Then the relation is style sheet. The type is CSS and text CSS. Great. Now they are linked together. Now I will go and to the HT, to the style, and I will add my styles codes. I will write here the padding and the margin equal to zero. Margin. So we could overwrite the default of the browser and we will define a background color and let's define a background color let's see this color and then I will say the center class this class we need it to be uh, the display is flex okay and the position is absolute mm, let's see we need it to be in the middle so I will say from top we need it to be 50% and from left also to be in the middle 50% too and then I will say transform, translate, and let's see negative 50%, comma, negative 50%, too. Great. Now the content would be in the middle. I need now to create the circles we have. I will say loading, and over here I'll create the loading, uh, I mean properties. I will say the width to be, for example, 200 pixel. The height would be also 200 pixel. The, uh, let's see the border, we need it to be five pixel. Slide and let's choose a color. Let's see that color and we will change it now to be lighter. So I will say, I mean to be darker a little bit. Okay, now this is the first element we have created. I need to add also the border radius so that it could look like circle. We will say 50% and I'll add the border from bottom, for example. I need it to be, for example, from bottom or top or from anywhere. I will say it needed to be, for example, five pixel slide and the color would be, uh, let's see this color. Great. Now I will create the last element, which is the animation and I'll duplicate it. Now I say animation, animate, animate or anim one anim and we need it to be in uh, two seconds and let's see it would be linear infinite okay now we will duplicate these elements for uh, three uh, three times or let's see uh, two times the first one we'll see here content which would be here I mean the before element we'll see here before and the content is over there. We need it here to be the position. Position is absolute. The top to be, for example, 10%. From left to be 10% too. The, also the right and the bottom to be 10%. And the bottom to be 10%. Great. Now we have created the, uh, I mean, the first, the second circle, which would be the same thing. Let's change the color of this to be, for example, this color. And let's duplicate this element. I will duplicate this element and create it for the uh, after element. I'll see here after, means the circle that will come after the loading. And we'll change here to be, for example, it would be 20%. 20%, so that could be a little bit smaller. 
okay let's change the color i'll see here the color would be let's see this color great great now i will change another thing which is the uh, duration i need it to be i mean some of them to be faster and the other to be uh, slower so this one would be faster and that one would be slower now i'll create the keyframes if we saved and double click that element to see what we have over there it would be i mean uh steady steady circle okay it's not moving so to move it we'll add the animation we have it i'll create the keyframes over here and i will say for anim okay and over here i'll say when it is zero percent I need the rotate to be. I say transform, transform, rotate, and over here I will say I need it to be zero degree. Okay, then when it arrives to 100, I need to be one circle. I will say 360 degree. Great. So it will loop one loop. Okay, one loop. And because some of the circles are large and the other is small, it will differ in the uh, I mean in this page so this was the lesson thanks for listening and watching and see you again bye for now